What is going on everybody and welcome to part 33 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's video we are going to be going over just a quick little change to the buy gun command because as I was testing this I found out that if a player went to the console and tried to purchase a gun using the buy gun command they could purchase the gun for nothing. And what I mean by this is if I go into game here and if you just take note of my money currently at 6197 and we do buy underscore gun and the gun that I want like BB underscore Deagle and I set to zero. And as you can see, I get the gun, which is right there, and I still have $6,197. So what we need to do here in order to fix this is we need to go ahead and get rid of the argument that is setting the value and hard code those values into our code somewhere. So for this, we're going to be working in our custom underscore menu dot Lua file and our con commands dot Lua file. And to begin this off, let's start with our custom underscore menu dot Lua. And we want to go right down to the area where we have all of the weapons right here. And where we have this V4 argument, which is the price, we want to go ahead, cut that part out and only pass in the class name of the gun. So with that, we can just go ahead and save that. That's all we need to do with the custom underscore menu file. We can go into the con commands now, and we want to go ahead in this file be working with our buy gun function. And just right at the top of this, let's go ahead and enter down or create a couple of blank lines here. And we want to create ourselves a brand new array, and this will be local weapon prices. And we're going to set this equal to an empty set. Next up, we want to go ahead and put the weapon prices. Let's get rid of that. One, like so. I want to set this equal to the any and all weapons that we have in our custom underscore menu. Since we only have a single one, which is BB underscore Deagle, we want to go ahead and put that in for here. So BB underscore Deagle, and then the price of it is going to be set to 100, like so. And now after that, we want to go ahead and add a for loop here that's going to be looping through this weapon prices array. So we want to do 4K comma V in pairs, and we want to go ahead and loop through the weapon prices. Do, and let's go ahead and format this nicely here by tabbing over and then ending this for loop off there. And since we only have a single argument that is being passed in now, we can just go ahead and get rid of this whole line here. And now all that we need to check for is just args1, or if args1 is equal to v1. So if that argument that's being passed in, in this case it'll be bb underscore deagle, is equal to the value of whatever the first entry in this array is, which will be the class name. So if both of these are equal, we want to go ahead and run this code. And with that code, there's a few things we need to change here. And the first thing we want to change in here is instead of getting that args2, since that is no longer a value, we want to get v2. And then we'll go ahead and grab the second argument, or the second value in this array here. Next up, we want to go ahead and still continue to check if the balance is greater than or equal to gun cost. And we want to do all of that. We want to give them that BB underscore Deagle. And we could even do V1 here if we wanted to. But we'll just keep it as args1. And everything else seems to be good. We just want to do one thing here, which is going to be to return. So once all that is done, go ahead, return, break out of this for loop, and stop execution of this by gun function. Now what will happen is if we go into game here, and let's just reload just in case. What we want to do now is we want to go ahead and run that command again. So by underscore gun, bb underscore deagle. I'm just going to throw in a random value. Let's throw in zero again just to see. So run that, and as you can see, we get the gun. But regardless of what number we put in, we are still deducted that 100. Because as you can see, our balance went from 6,197 to 6,097. And if I do it again, same thing will happen even though I put in that 0 there. Since we are no longer taking in that second argument, that's just completely ignored. So as you can see, again, we went down $100. So that's just a quick fix there so people can't just purchase a gun without spending anything. So that right there will conclude part 33 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.